I found clips of some very famous celebrities speaking German, and in this video I'm going to be reacting to every single one of them to see just how good their German is, with the help of my friend Anja. And make sure you stay to the end to see who our favourite of all of them is. Let's get into it. Okay, um, in was für großartigen Zeiten wir leben, weil irgendwann war ich mal Kellnerin, dann war ich Putzfrau, dann war ich Diskotänzerin, dann war ich Hundefriseuse. Wer, wer hätte gedacht, dass alle diese Berufe mich eines Tages auf diese Bühne führen würden? Aber All right, Sandra Bullock. So, Anja, that sounded pretty good to me. Um, how about you? What's your what's your thoughts on this? Honestly, like I've never heard someone like honestly, you can't even hear that she's not a native speaker. <laughs> Amazing, really, congrats. That's I think the best German I have heard from an English native speaker. Especially like there's two sounds for English speakers: the R sound and the Z. And and perfect. Wow, congrats. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, liebe Sandra. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> well, okay, well, what a, what a great start to the video. So it turns out that Sandra Bullock actually grew up in Nuremberg and Austria for 12 years. When yeah, she was that a makes kid. sense. That makes sense because the, the, that's, that's such a perfect accent. Like, I'm not sure if you can get that still when you start learning later. Yeah. Yeah, and she also apparently used to sing in a children's choir in German as well. So I guess like she's just got the complete package. Fantastic. Wow, congrats. Really, Sandra Bullock, if you watch Ali's video, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Sandra. All right, then. let's see who's next. Es ist auch wirklich ein besonderes Vergnügen, wieder einmal in Berlin zu sein. Besonders als Großvater eines neugeborenen Enkels. <laughs> Prince Charles, right. Well, it's, it's, it's always very funny when you have someone like this who you like see grow up for your entire life speaking English and then suddenly you hear him speaking another language. To me, and yet, it sounded like he has spoken German before. He's got a bit of an English accent coming through. How do you see it? He must have spoken it before. Also, you can, you can really feel that this was not the first time uh, speaking German. He did have, compared to Sandra Bullock, he did have a little accent. Um, like, for example, the V sound, the V, the English V, is usually pronounced as an F in, in German. So I could hear that and also the R sound. But in general, like, I would say out of 10 points, I would give him nine because that was also a great job. Really? Wow. I'm impressed. I didn't know that. If you were going to give him one tip to improve his German, what, what would it be? Would it be that V sound or the V sound else? and the R sound, which is very typical? Yeah. The R sound is very typical, and obviously the V is easy because it's just like an English F in the end. But uh, the R sound is harder to train. Um, but yeah, he's still got a couple of years to train, right? So <laughs> yeah, yeah. hopefully he's going to get the R sound one day. <laughs> Good job, Charles. Nice one. All right, let's see who's next. <laughs> Okay, well, I think it's safe to say that we didn't get a very long uh, example there to work with. Um, and your reactions? Okay, dear Prince William, that was great, but I would love to hear more from you. That was not enough. <laughs> now, obviously, that's hard to judge on like such a, it, it sounds, honestly, to me, it sounds like, okay, someone told him, listen, say that sentence and everyone is going to love it, which we have seen as a reaction, right? But um, a great accent, everything perfectly done. Um, but uh, it could have been his first time doing it because, yeah, you can't really judge in yeah. his German skills, but great accent, very well trained. Um, but dear Prince William, please, we want to hear more from you in German. Yeah, I tend to agree. I think the giveaway there is that every word, he's pronouncing every word very carefully. Uh, you know, you can hear that every word is treated sort of uh, as, a, as a single word, which is often a giveaway that someone's kind of memorized every word of a speech. But fair enough. And I always think it's great when people actually get up and try to speak the language in front of people. But you know what, Ali, and I think this is also so important sometimes to really uh, get people into, to get to people's hearts as well. It's, it's not really necessary to be like 100% fluent, even if you just know some basics, you know, like you show the basics and, and, and uh, like people who have German as a mother tongue, they, they love it. So great. 
I think that was good. Absolutely. All right then, who's next? Seen a death camp doctor. Ein Konzentrationslager. Huh? Ich, ich war dabei. Bei der Befreiung von Dachau. Ihr Englisch, ihr Englisch ist sehr gut, fast perfekt. His English really is very good. You hit the consonants a tad hard though. All right, Leo. That's interesting. So apparently Leo's maternal grandmother yeah. was German. We've actually got two clips, but before we play the second one, first thoughts, Anya? Um, you can totally feel that uh, this, like he has done that before. Perfect accent, like grammar-wise, everything was perfect, obviously, because that was for a movie. But I know that for English speakers, it's really hard to pronounce the word I, which is ich, because of the CH sound. And he did that, like, really, like I would do it. So uh, very, very well done. And also, one thing that English speakers usually do when they speak German is they say English instead of English, because the E is pronounced differently. And he said English. So that was like, like, a, like I would say it, honestly. Very well done. Great job. Yeah, I guess actors, they have coaching for these little, these little bits in movies, obviously, don't they? So let's have a look at the next clip, see, see if there's anything different there. My Oma is from a small state, two hours away from Düsseldorf. Once Leo can not only Deutsch speak, he loves also Oma's kitchen. Oh, Spätzle is Spätzle with the Wiener Schnitzel. Okay, so... A few more sentences. Anything you'd change in your estimation? I mean, he, he, he can speak, right? He can clearly speak. Yeah, I mean, that was like, he answered questions. So this is when, when he really shows that his German is not only learning a text, but he answered them. And one thing, we could also hear his dialect because his dialect is from the region where I come from. So the word for grandmother is usually Oma, like O-M-A. And he said Oma, which is very typical for uh, the region where I also come from. And he said it afterwards, like my grandmother is from close to Düsseldorf. And uh, yeah, right before I thought like, he must be from that region or this dialect must be from that region. So very well adapted the dialect as well. Nice. Okay, who's next? Actually, it was um, Jakob von der Frechte von Allen Vögel, die ich je gesehen habe. Okay, hang on. Was that German? What did he say? It was German, but I'm honest, I honestly, I didn't get everything he was saying. So, Vögel, die ich gesehen habe, the birds that I have seen, but I didn't get the whole sentence. And that was definitely... Wow, hard. Maybe something he remembered from school. Oh, look, we've got a second clip. Let's give him a second chance. Okay, good. I studied... Uh, German in school. Ich habe in Schule ein klein bisschen Deutsch gelernt. Ja. But the things they taught you were like crazy things. You know, the, one of the first things I learned was Jakob der Rabe. <laughs> Jakob der Rabe war der Frechte von allen Vögeln, die ich je gesehen habe. <laughs> All right, Paul McCartney. Okay, I don't know what to say about that. Over to you. Um, okay, so when, like this one was definitely free speech and uh, he made a mistake. Uh, he said im Schule instead of in der Schule. So grammar mistake. But now I got the sentence and that was the same sentence that we had seen before. It's about the bird uh, from a book. So now I finally understood the sentence. Um, in, in the second uh, clip, definitely, yeah. Uh, well done in general. Yeah. Um, he's lacking practice, I'd say. He should maybe, I don't know, maybe he can start <laughs> singing in German to practice a bit more. Yeah, and of course it's unfair of us to, to like to, to criticize anything like this because he's, he, he's making the effort to be on stage and speaking with German. And every time I do these videos, I'm always at pains to kind of, to point out that I think it's just fantastic anyone taking any opportunity to speak. What's interesting about Paul McCartney, like you said with um, with the school example, it's quite easy from, from when he's speaking German there to to understand the way that an English mind thinks. And we saw exactly the same in my Spanish video reacting to Spanish celebrities where he did the same thing in Spanish. Uh, he said something different, but he was uh, doing a gig in Spain and spoke in Spanish. And from that same thing, you could kind of spot the English interference when he was missing missing things like, um, I can't remember what it was back then. So it's quite interesting to see that. But good job, Paul. Let's see who's up yeah, next. Yeah, good job, definitely. I do know that my father is a Stierkämpfer. Uh, ich bin ein Wassermeloner. 
Ja? Okay. Ja. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Ich, ich muss ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen. Anja, translation please. <laughs> okay, so basically he said, um, uh, my father is a Taurus fighter and uh, I am a watermelon. <laughs> Okay. So that's like super random and I guess it's just like, I guess that he has like the moment he was speaking German because it's a German uh, news show and so a German reporter must have asked him, like, please say something in German, right? And I guess that was a moment, you know, when, when someone tells you like, uh, oh, how many languages do you speak? Oh yeah, I speak that yeah. in that language. <laughs> oh, please say something in that language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's, as, as someone pointed out in the comments on a previous video, it's very, very unfair. You know, these guys, they just, they just come out of a whole, like, whole evenings of work and they get accosted by these reporters. Oh, you know, say something. And then they have to say something. And then now here we're in the luxury of sitting in our, in our offices, like, kind of, you know, laughing at them, like, exactly. 20 years down the line. It's very unfair. So Johnny Depp... Yeah, no to be fair, us. like honestly, like I can, I can just say as a native speaker, great pronunciation. Very well done. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Focus on the positives. Moving on. Bassist und Sänger von der legendären Rockband Kiss. Schön, schön, dass du da bist. Uh, guten Tag. I'd stick it out, but the floor is dirty. Yeah, but um, maybe we can have a, just a little look, just a peek. <laughs> du hast es gerade schon gesagt, du sprichst ein bisschen Deutsch. Ich habe gelernt Deutsch auf der Schule vor sechs Monaten und uh, auf der Tournee. Ich spreche Ungarisch besser. Und äh, Hebräisch und ein bisschen, bisschen Japanisch. Ähm, zeig mal ein, ein, sag mal ein japanisches Wort. Goki ken kage desu ka watashi wa jin shimonu desu. Nato wa saiko desu. Nato wa utsukushi. Okay. Du bist sehr schön. Ah, Jin. All right, so we transitioned from German to Japanese and then back to German at the end. Interesting. So he clearly can say some things, and I know that he actually studied German at school, and in fact his mother was, uh, his mother actually survived the Nazi concentration camp and spoke German who, and then taught a bit to him. So he's got some background there in German. From the native speaker perspective, Anya, what were you hearing? Um, again, here, like, I, I didn't know those language skills of him, like, uh, amazing Hungarian also. And uh, he said actually that his Hung Hungarian is better than his German and that he studied it for six months in school. So he, he doesn't even, the whole story of his mother, he doesn't even talk about that one. Um, uh, in general, good. Um, I guess he's also lacking uh, practice, of course. But then again, like uh, it's it's amazing that he's at least doing some sentence and how he switches also from Japanese to German. I think this is also a true skill when you're able to switch because sometimes your brain is just okay German now for a few minutes and then you forget the other languages. But he is able to switch. I mean, I don't know his Japanese. I can't judge on that one, but. Uh, well done in general, I would say. Yeah. I mean, his Japanese was, it was, I guess a lot of these rock stars, they kind of have their set phrases that they memorize for shows and concerts and, and journalists and things like that, don't they? But, but his German seemed to, seemed to be a bit more expansive than that. It seemed to be, you know, he seemed to have some, some, he could use the language a little bit, it seemed. Yeah. All right then. Well, in that case, let's move on to the next one. And yeah, thanks so much for helping us out with this video. Where can people find more out about you? Well, if you're interested in learning a German from a Spanish speaking perspective, killing two birds with one stone, on YouTube it's called Deutsch mit Zaloa. Same for Instagram. And my personal Instagram is Anja from Alemania.